welcome back. We'd like to thank WKU Owensboro for underwriting our segment. With me today is Dr. Bob Hatfield. I'm going to tell you, his title is, is, is beautiful here. Lessonberry Professor of Business Education, Executive Faculty of MBA Coordinator's Office. I'm what the, a title! I'm the, I have lots of titles, but, but I'm Bob. Bob, and, I like Bob. And I'm the MBA coordinator, so Wonderful. that's the... Wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know, we um, here, I know you're at the main campus there at yes. WKU, and locally we have a terrific campus, um, Western Kentucky University, Owensboro. Do you all offer the MBA program um, locally to, to individuals? Well, I'm excited to tell you that for the second year we are offering the MBA program here in Owensboro at WKUO, that campus out on Hartford. New Hartford Road. New Hartford yes. Road. Uh, it's a beautiful new building, mm -hmm. and you can really, for the first time in history, get your MBA here in Owensboro from WKU. And so. that's terrific. We we get so many uh, professionals that go into uh, a field with their bachelors as a non-traditional student need, need or want to come back to get that MBA, and they can, can they obtain all their classes locally or will they have to do some driving or? No driving required at all. And we have two ways now for some time we've had the online program. And so you can do your entire MBA online and that works for many people. And many people in Owensboro have done that. Okay. And some even come do the full-time program on campus during the day and get out in a year. But for the last year and this year, we're offering the entire a MBA program in an executive format, and we can talk about what that means, okay. uh, here on the campus at WKUO. Well, let's go right into that. What okay. is that executive format? An executive format uh, is helpful to the professional or the manager here in Owensboro. Not only can, for the first time, they take the classes here uh, and get that accredited degree from WKU, but the executive format means many things. One thing it means is it doesn't meet as much as a normal class. So it only For those meets... non-traditional <laughs> students, that's great. Yeah, so you're working, you're a doctor, lawyer, accountant, engineer, vice president of marketing, second level, ma level manager someplace. Uh, you don't have a lot of time to come two, three years every Tuesday and Thursday night. Sure. So what our program offers is classes that meet every other Saturday for two years and you have your entire degree. Now that's wow. less than two-thirds of the normal class time you would spend in a course. And how many hours on that one Saturday every other week? How, how long would they be on campus? It's not forever. Uh, we meet from nine until noon and one until four. And so you have two three-hour segments and that's almost the amount you would spend every week right. in a normal class. Right. And it's every other Saturday. And so this is, we call that an executive format, executive MBA. We style it the professional MBA yes. because we don't want to think just only the executive could take this program. Sure. But uh, people who are in second level management or have a professional job are eligible to be in this program. Well, and that was my next question because I know uh, coming into some uh, degree programs, there are those prerequisites. So could you yeah. tell us a little bit more about what is needed for a person as they apply for? Yes. For the MBA program? Well, the application process is fairly simple, and what you need to be qualified to be in this special program, the professional MBA, no matter where you're located, but for those people located here, they need to have five years of experience at the middle level in management, so they're not frontline manager, but they've been moved up at least one notch, or they're a professional. And we have literally doctors, lawyers, engineers, accountants, people who work in banking, in medical fields, uh, and entrepreneurs uh, in that program. So the biggest no I tell people is they don't yet have the five years. And so it's not 10 or 15 years, it's five, five years. years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that five years experience is extremely important. Now we do require all those other things that a program would require. You need a grade point average and we need to see your diploma mm -hmm. and get those transcripts in. But we have no stated minimum GPA. You also need that GMAT test mm -hmm. or the GRE because we can get, either one would, we can get okay. an equivalency okay. there. And we have no stated minimum there. So what we do is we take a look at those scores and we balance those against your uh, experience. Uh -huh. And the more experience you have, 
the more that can account for scores. So you still need those scores, um, but we are taking into account your work experience. And I think that is terrific because I think a lot of people, in today's time, we see a lot of younger people going straight through. Yes. And even when I was graduating, um, some of my peers did that, yes. but some of us got married and started families. And yes. so we, we graduated with that degree and then quickly went into that other phase of life. So now we are coming back and this just really fits into that person yes. who went into the professional world, but now um, is, is desiring that, that degree or, or, or what have you. So it takes as, as little as two years. It's, it's a two year program, it's a lockstep program. You come in, you, you study with a team, you're in the team for the two years. If you had a background in banking, you would be helpful on my team when we take that finance class. I would rely on you to help me learn that material. And so we expect those teams, and they do and they enjoy this, get together at some point in between those two-week classes. You only meet every other class pretty much year-round. And so that team will get together and help each other do the group projects and help each other learn uh, those individual assignments. So, so again, if you were in banking, I would be relying on you. And now I was a manager. And so you may rely on me to help you understand the management and so too the accountant in your team. Uh, and so you're not a lone ranger because you've been out of school for a while and we find that adult learners are the best learners. Yeah. But it is helpful if you have somebody with a background and so we try to create teams where they're diverse in terms of their talent and work experience. And how, how large are these? I know the, um, I believe it's the MPA program, yes. the cohorts. Yes. How, how, so I wanted to call this a cohort. It is a cohort. Okay. How many, um, do you all take a specific number? What would be like the group size here? That, that MPA program, which uh, Chappelle runs, and, and it's a wonderful program here, um, that has a larger cohort. Okay. This is much more intimate and executive programs typically are. Okay. And so the class size at the moment is 12 or 13, and half of those are from Owensboro, and half of those are from Bowling Green. Okay. And so you're in a team of, let's say, six. And so that team can find it pretty easy at a time to get together. And we start off out at a ropes course, outdoors in the wilderness. Team with the groups We do mm -hmm. team building, and all 12 get to know each other very well. And then we split into those teams to help with the geography. So you're not driving to Bowling Green. People in Bowling Green are driving to Owensboro. And uh, they're working together in that team. So that team here in Owensboro is, is terrific. We have people in just about every major industry group in that team right now. And, and we're talking to a lot of people for the fall that I think will also give that same experience background. And during those class times that yes. meet on Saturday, how many um, uh, professors or how many people will they come into contact with during that six hour span? Over? Yes, it, it, it is in somewhat a traditional format in that for those three hours you'll be with one professor okay. before lunch and then often we'll have an, a luncheon speaker and we'll sponsor the lunch mm -hmm. but the three hours after lunch that's a different one and so for a semester which only meets eight times yeah. it's eight meetings so half of 16 rather than all 16 you meet eight times with those two professors. And then in the spring, you'll have two different ones. So in the fall, I teach the organization behavior class, the psychology class. Mm -hmm. And I teach that in the morning. And in the afternoon, you would have Harold Little, who won Teacher of the Year last year, teaching accounting. And so you'd be massaging the left hemisphere of your brain in, in one morning, session yes. <laughs> and the right hemisphere of your brain in the afternoon. And, and we're team-based. Uh, and so these could be team debates, they could be team cases, and so you'd get some instruction, and then you'd probably be doing some team uh, uh, presentations, and maybe work on a case, or demonstrating some skill. People come to get an MBA to, to shore up their overall skills. Yes, yeah. And so if they're weak in quantitative areas, or they don't know how to read a budget, and these days we're all really looking at budgets very Absolutely. hard. Absolutely. But we had a lawyer and he said, I'm in here to learn how to read the budget. I'm sitting in these executive or managerial meetings, but I'm lost when they get over here to the book. And I don't want to be lost anymore. And so an MBA helps with that. And by the same token, we have engineers who are there to work on their people skills. 
they say, you know, I really have this quant stuff down, but it puzzles me when I ask people to do things and they don't do they them don't write. right. And I, and I have trouble with that. Uh, or people who want to work on their leadership skills, those softer skills. Uh, so people are there to shore up their skill set so that they're better positioned for that next promotion or that next job. It's a very, it sounds very well-rounded. Yes. As if you couldn't have pick, pick better people to choose to go for their yes. MBA. It seems like they, they do, the groups come together. They do. But putting that team building aspect first, that trust yep. becomes built in. You see people's strengths and we all have them um, in just different areas. And so I think that's, that's a, a terrific thing and they'll be using that specifically when they go back into the workforce, their homes, anytime yes. that they're dealing with other people. Very, very practical um, information. Um, are there any special aspects that you would like to share of this program? I, before you even answer that, I think it's it. Um, you've already really highlighted some very unique things about it and it is special, but can you tell us, um, have there been national recognitions or yes. honors? What are some of those special things about it you'd like to share? Well, WKU and WKU here in Owensboro, it, it, that's a very special educational system. And, and we're becoming nationally prominent in many ways. Uh, so President Ransdell's doing well with promoting WKU and our students once they graduate, like yourself. Um, we, there's a test that many good programs have their students complete at the end of their MBA. It's put on, I don't want to say the name of the company, but it's the same one that high school students take tests to get into college mm -hmm. and international students take to prove their English ability. Same company, okay. so a very standard company. And last year, our professional MBAs scored as a group in the top 20% in America. Wow, the top out of Western 20%. Kentucky from WKU, many would be surprised by that. So not only are we accredited and have the resources that a large university would have, but our outcomes are fabulous. And so what does that say about our students? And what does that say about this faculty that are doing that job? And what does it say about the program and how it's designed? Think, we're meeting less than the normal class, but and we're team-based and we're still scoring higher than most everybody in the country. Well, I think that top 20% makes us the top program in Kentucky. Well, and I'll tell you, one of my favorite <laughs> sayings, and it seems it's so applicable to this program is, don't work harder, work smarter. Oh, and it sounds like WKUO and WKU have um, created a marriage here, if you will, of something that is showing you're working a lot smarter, literally and figuratively. If you look yes. at these test scores, you're working a shorter amount of time. Yes. So you're attaining higher scores than a lot of other individuals meeting on you know, a, a different schedule. Well, those students all have that minimum experience. Coming into the And they're the bringing yes. that knowledge in. And so they're not just sitting there lost or passive in class. They're active in class. They're relating what they're learning to their work experience. Students tell me they're applying what they're using immediately at their workplace from what they've learned in school. And apparently that's working really well in terms of their learning. Well, we thank you so much for being with us today. And I know that um, if individuals are interested in learning more about uh, this program, they can contact the local campus. Is that correct? They sure can. They can get a lot of information at wku.edu slash MBA. Okay. But the local uh, WKU OO has all of that information. Lou Adis McNeil is a fabulous counselor to help students uh, get information. We really try to make it very easy for you. And it's time now to start right. applying. It's Absolutely. time now. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Hatfield, for being with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Again, we thank WKUO for underwriting our segment. Stay tuned for more great community programming here on Channel 71.